So here I've got a circuit for you with a couple of given values. And over here we have a table and I've gone and filled in all of the known values. So our goal for this video today is to find all of the unknown values and fill them and fill this table in completely. It might seem like a lot, but once you know Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's rules, it's actually not that bad. So the first thing that I would do is try to find the total resistance. So this row is for all of the total voltage, uh, current, and resistance. And then these rows are resistor 1, resistor 2, and resistor 3. So let's go and define this as resistor 1, this is resistor 2, and this as resistor 3. So to find the total resistance, what I would do is uh, combine these two resistors, which are in parallel, and find an equivalent resistance for that. Then I would add that to the resistance of this resistor, since the equivalent resistor here would then be in series with this resistor. And remember that adding resistances gives you the total resistance for resistors in series. So looking back at these two resistors, we have one that's 5 ohms and one that's 10 ohms. To find the equivalent resistance, we'd first take the inverse of the first resistor, so that's going to be 1 over 5 ohms, and then we add that to the second resistance, so that's going to be 1 over 10 ohms, and then we take the reciprocal of that. So 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10, oops, 1 over 10 is going to be 0.3, and when we take the reciprocal of 0.3, we get 3.33. So our parallel equivalent resistance is going to be 3.3 ohms. And now we can add that to our resistance here, which is 10 ohms, because this and this are going to be in series. So resistors in series, it's going to be the first resistance plus the second one. And that gives us a total of 13.3 ohms. So we've got our first value. And now that we have two of these values in the same row, we can use Ohm's law in order to find the third one. So remember that Ohm's law is equal to voltage times current times resistance. So we've got our voltage, that's 9 volts. We don't have our current and we have our resistance, which is 13.3. So if we simply divide 9 by, oops, 9 by 13.3, that gives us about 0.677. Okay, let's try to round that to one significant figure, so 0.7. And if we're going to go with one significant figure for all of these values, then we can round this to 10. Okay, so we got all the easy stuff filled out. The next step would be to try to find uh, one of these other values, maybe using one of Kirchhoff's rules. So the first one that I can think of is to use Kirchhoff's junction rule, because the current at this point of the junction should also equal the current coming out of the junction. So we know that the current here is 0.7, we just solved for that. So the current coming out of the battery is 0.7 uh, amps. And since the current going into the junction has to equal the current coming out, then that means the current running through this wire should also be 0.7. So the current here is also going to be 0.7 amps. So I see here that we've got another case where we know two of the values in the same row, so we can just use Ohm's law again to find the voltage. So 0.7, which is the current, times 10, which is the resistance, will give us 7 for the voltage here. Now let's try to use Kirchhoff's loop rule to find the voltages for uh, resistors 1 and 2. So remember that one of the ways we can state Kirchhoff's loop rule is that the total voltage is equal to the constituent voltages of the loop. So the total voltage we have is 9 volts, and that should be equal to the voltages of one loop. So our first loop would be going through voltage or resistor 1 and resistor 3. So the voltage at resistor 1 plus the voltage at resistor 3 should equal 9 volts. 
and same thing for the second loop. 9 should be equal to the voltage at resistor 2 plus the voltage at resistor 3. And we know that the voltage at resistor 3 is equal to 7, so we can just plug that in for V3. And now we know that the voltage at resistor 1 is going to be equal to 2, and same thing for voltage 2. Now we can really easily find the currents at resistors 1 and 2 using Ohm's law again. So voltage is equal to current times resistance. We have 2 equals current times 5. So the current here is going to be 2 over 5. So this is going to be 0.4 and 2 over 10 is going to be 0.2. Okay, great, so we fully solved this circuit puzzle and I really hope that this video helps you to get a better understanding of when to use Ohm's Law and Kirchhoff's rules.